That's it. You be standing up for six. What's up? No, you're good. What's up? Yeah. Good. Rob, this is a big week for you. How much does it help you that you get to do it in Charlotte where you had such a great game and a 98 yard touchdown last year? Yeah, coach always talks about staying ready, so you know that's what I've been doing all year. So uh look forward to that. look forward to going out there with my teammates and getting the dub. I know earlier in the season you had surrendered two sacks, but Coach Aries made it a point to say that, that he really improved with your, your pass protection. How do you feel you come along in that area that would take out the things like that? Yeah, I agree. You know, just uh working through it, you know, getting with Tom, you know, after practice and stuff like that, getting with the old lineman. Just as long as we're all right, you know, we're on the same page. So just little uh, things like that. How can Le'Veon Bell and his presence, his veteran presence, help you guys as a group? Yeah, I've already asked him, like, you know, what did you do, like, in this situation, things like that. So, you know, it's always great when you got a, you know, a great all-pro running back, you know, coming in here to help. And, you know, uh, just it makes it easier for sure. Well, you were a thousand-yard rusher headed towards that. You got COVID and all yeah. what happened after that. And, you know, to, to have to take – have a, you know, a secondary role to Sanders. I know you're good friends with him. He makes, how tough is it to be patient and just, this is your time now and you know, not the most important time to see you? Yeah, it's tough. You know, like you said, you know, being right there on the tip of it, but, you know, I guess everything happens for a reason. You know, we end up, you know, winning the big one. So just trying to repeat that success again, you know, because with team success comes in individual success. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be trying to chase it again soon. In some ways, what Leonard did last year, you find yourself, you know, this could be your time in the playoffs, right? I mean, it, it doesn't really matter what happened in the first 13 weeks. Yeah, it, it really doesn't. You know, all that's out the window. You know, we, we all got one goal. You know, that's why we're here, to win games. And so you do that, and then you usually get what you want. So. Well, to, to have Chris Godwin out, to have Mike Mike having a hamstring issue, to have not all the weapons in the past game, how much do you think this falls on the running backs, the offensive line, to take some of the burden off, off guys there? Yeah, definitely. You know, a lot of guys going to have to step up, you know, this week and in the next couple of weeks, you know, uh, until guys get healthy. So, uh, you know, that's what they've been practicing for all year, you know, since training camp. So it's good to see those guys get their moment and, you know, we'll make the most of our opportunities. How much of a jolt, though, was that for you guys on the sideline there Sunday? I mean, it's just like in rapid succession, you're losing mm -hmm. so many pieces on your offense. And so many guys that weren't expecting to get called on as much, yeah. including yourself, had to just jump out there and, and go. Yeah, it was definitely different. You know, that game was uh, definitely weird. You know, didn't seem yeah. So like, yeah, just guys got to stay ready. You know, because you never know when your chance is coming. And you know, it's holiday season, so you know, guys are getting to make you know plays that can hopefully change their careers and stuff like that. Is that is that the way you guys kind of approach this time of year? You said holiday season. Right? Yeah. Is that how you kind of approach it? Uh, yeah. You know, just. You know, stepping up and uh, you know trying to be the next guy up. Anything else? Yeah. Thanks, Rob. Appreciate you. Uh, thank you.